We remind you that should the Rams come up with a victory here today, coupled with a Washington Redskins loss or tie in their battle against the Arizona Cardinals, Dick Vermeil's Rams would clinch a first round bye in the NFC playoffs. Jeff Wilkins, a native of Youngstown, Ohio, set to kick it away. Dino Filial, Lawrence Dossey waiting for the Saints. And it's going to be Filial from the two. Crosses a 20, tripped up, and brings it out to the 27-yard line. Three receivers check in for New Orleans. Tolliver steps out of trouble, throws down the sidelines, and has a man keep full. And he's shoved out of bounds inside the 30-yard line. Poole in motion, and Tolliver again to throw, and again it's Poole with a catch. Slips a tackle by Light and is close to another first down inside the 20. Hop Good Chittick is checked in for DeMarco Farr. Play fake, they go to the end zone, and Tolliver overthrows a wide open Eddie Kennison. Now Doug Bryan on to attempt a 29-yard field goal. He's 21 of 26 overall this season. And his kick is good. So the Saints march down the field, their opening drive of the game. A 62-yard scoring drive. And now they try a little pooch kick, and it's caught. And brought out to the 40-yard line. They're trying to stay away from the most dangerous return man in the NFL, Tony Horn. This is a situation where the Saints defense has not done very well on third down, 21st in the league. This is where they need improvement at, and improvement in a hurry, especially against the Rams. Oz uh, Hakeem has checked in as a third wide receiver, and they fire to the near side, caught by Isaac Bruce, good enough for a first down to the 41-yard line. Now he's back under Dick Vermeil. They pitch it to Falk. And he has running room. Close to a first down. Saw the red zone numbers for the Rams this season. They have just been terrific. Warner flushed out of the pocket. Fires to Williams. Inside the five and down to the two. A lot of running backs, when you get into short yarded situations, you got to have a substitution, and he can do this as well. Ryan Tucker, a tackle eligible, but they throw to Holcomb in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. So the beat goes on for Warner, his 33rd touchdown pass of the season. No, I'm not going to embarrass myself. <laughs> Wilkins for the point after, and it is good. 7-3, Rams in front. Wilkins, a short kick, fielded by Dino Filiaw, and he brings it across the 30 and then some out to the 37-yard line. So good field positions for the Saints. Billy Joe Tolliver. Hands it to Wilmont Perry. And he breaks a couple of tackles and is close to a first down. Banged out of bounds by Devin Bush. From the 49, Tolliver to throw. And lets it fly to Poole, who makes the over-the-shoulder grab inside the 20. That ends up ranking them about 18th in the league. The fourth down is bad. Look at the Rams, a 47.9. I mean, the next closest team is like 40%, which is phenomenal. Good time for Tolliver. Finds a receiver across the middle, and it's Andre Hastings, a first down. Checking off at the line of scrimmage. Looks like he might have a 46 defense against him. Graver checks into the game. They fire to the end zone. It's full touchdown, Saints. And it's offensive pass interference. He saw 46 defense, which gives him man coverage. That's Poole right there, lined up, out. But take a look what he does. He pushes off once he tries to make his break to the out route. Third and goal, and they pitch it to Andre Hastings. And Hastings inside the 10, comes down to the seven yard line. 26 yard attempt by Bryant, who hit his first field goal try, and this one right down the middle. Tony Horn waiting back, bobbles the ball at the five, still trying to find the handle, and now he'll bring it out and is dragged down two yards later at the seven yard line by Dino Filiaw. Corner Saini, Andy McCollum has taken over at center, and Warner to throw on second down, drops it off to Marshall Falk out of the backfield, and that'll move the sticks out to the 35-yard line. Mike Grudadoria has a left knee sprain. He's testing it out on the sideline right now. The Rams do expect him to get back into this ball game. First and 15, and the ball comes loose. And the Saints...
defense appear to have recovered the fumble by Marshall Falk. And they have. Kurt Warner stumbles coming out from underneath the center. Marshall Falk gets held up a little bit. And right there, you can take a look. Number 59, Keith Mitchell does a good job of putting his helmet right on the ball and it pops out and Wayne Martin does a good job of getting the recovery. That's a big play for the Saints. Four receivers set Tolliver to the end zone and it's too far. He had an eye on Lawrence Dossie. Roughing the passer, 41 defense, blow to the head. Half the distance to the goal line, first down. They are going to take a look, Todd Light, bottom of your screen. Billy Joe Tolliver dropping back. Look right, that's what I'm talking about right there. Dickon needs to wear a headset and you won't have problems of getting the play in on time. Third and goal. Tolliver rolls right, throws, touchdown New Orleans. Cam Cleland, the tight end. See what they've done, two-point conversions this season. And Tolliver to throw it, short drop, fires to the corner, and it is. The two-point conversion in the corner to Eddie Kennison. So the Saints coming out like they mean business. Three drives, three scores, and lead by seven. That's what the Saints need to play a high-powered scoring team like the Rams. Bouncing ball, and it's fielded by Fletcher, and he pitches back behind him to Horn, and Horn all the way out across the 40 to the 41-yard line. Boy, he is fun to watch. And Tyler, I mean, here's a guy that, that's, I mean, tough as nails, happy man, he should be, doing a good job. Good protection by Warner, and here come the Rams. He locks up with Isaac Bruce, who's all the way to the New Orleans 28-yard line. He beat Fred Weary for a 31-yard gain. So it's third down and five at the 24, and they pitch it to Falk. Breaks it to the outside, and he is stopped shy of the first down. 40-yard attempt by Wilkins, who's only missed once all year inside of 40 yards. And that one plenty long enough, and it is good. Now you guys have a few players come out of that school every now and again. Just a couple. Dino Filial brings it out across the 20, and then uh -oh. crosses the 40. And the kicker, Wilkins, shoves him out of bounds at the 45-yard line. Second and six, Tolliver with time, and it's intercepted by Todd Light. Right out across the 30 to the 40-yard line, and Todd Light, his sixth interception of the season. Fortunately, Todd Light, the drone injury wasn't as severe to keep him out of the lineup, but I wouldn't be surprised to see him pulled sometime this game for fear of damaging it further. Third down, and Warner, good protection. Now forced out of the pocket. Chased by Martin, still on his feet. Throws down the field, and it's caught. Can you believe that from Kurt Warner? And Ricky Prohl, the reception, good enough for a first down. Prohl is that fourth guy. He had to go along with Bruce, Hakeem, and Torrey Holt. Warner, under pressure, fires to Bruce inside the 10, down to the 4. They pitch it to Falk, and it's time to bob and weave, although a flag is down. They won't do it yet. Outside, 55 defense, lined up in the neutral zone. That penalty is declined. Touchdown. And Wilkins will try and make it a three-point lead with a point after. And he just does get it inside the left upright. You're exactly right. And those tickets ain't free. So the Saints will get the ball back with three and a half minutes left to play here in the first half. Bill Yaw, big return a moment ago, and a pretty good one right here. As he brings it out across the 30. Out of the shotgun in trouble. And down he goes. Wrapped up by Charlie Clemens. He is third and 13. They need to get to the 48 yard line. Tolliver with time to throw. Tip ball. And then it's caught by Kennison. Depending on the spot, we'll have to see if it's good enough for a first down. At least get it off the first two minute warning. And they do. Tolliver out of the shotgun steps up as he's hit. And it's picked off by Dexter McLeon at the 48 yard line. 
And there was a perfect example of him making that step towards being a smart player and understanding the big picture, not trying to be overly aggressive and, and really jamming in somewhere. Third and five, and he has Falk, who makes a nifty move to the end zone. I think the Saints just scored, didn't they? Listen to the people cheering. Well, there are a lot of Rams fans here, a lot of Marshall Falk fans here. Marshall's mother looking on will try and make it a 10-point lead and does. Marshall Falk is still lined up in the backfield. The one thing when you have him still on the field is that with those four wide receivers, they can clear it out. When those four wide receivers run down the field, everybody's worried about the four wide receivers. And when you have a guy that's a threat such as Marshall Falk being able to be a second tier and underneath receiver, he is dangerous. Willie Clay, I mean, he didn't have a chance. I mean, there's nobody in the league that can, that can end up stopping Marshall Falk in the, open, in the open field. And here's what you like, the bob and weave. Well, the Saints have 41 seconds left. They throw the ball to the flat man running out of bounds. Second and five. Tolliver looking around and throws down the field. And it's too far for Lamar Smith. Boy, that looked like a pretty nice throw there by Tolliver in his 13th season out of North Carolina. And Oz Hakeem waits. Signals for the fair catch and then juggles the football, but is able to fall back on top of it. Rams begin things on offense, and the give is to Falk, and he's still on his feet, crossing the 25, out to the 28. Two tight ends set, eye formation. Falk breaks it up through the middle, and he crosses a 40 to the 41-yard line. It's amazing to me that he can do it when it looks like he's not even trying. First and 20, Werner fell down in a one-handed reception made back behind him by the rookie Torrey Holt. It's probably a situation where Kurt Warner should not have thrown the ball because I guarantee he didn't see completely what he was throwing. Fired across the middle, and again, it's Holt. And Lee checks in. Warner, great protection, great throw, another first down. Isaac Bruce, the catch, and steps out of bounds at the 14. True offense is what Dick Vermeule calls it going here in the second half. They fake the throw. They go to the end zone where it's intercepted. Fred Weary will bring it out. He's across the 20 and shoved out of bounds at the 23-yard line. So a rare mistake made by Kurt Warner. As he developed, he's a, he's a fantastic player. And Missouri, born and raised, Mike Jones, a native of Kansas City, played football for the Missouri Tigers, and down goes Billy Joe Tolliver. Find out, Mike Dick is going to find out which of the players that he can count on when the, when the thing is down, such as this. Long ball, and the pass is caught by Holt. And he's all the way to the 15-yard line. And he said that, you know, when he was with the Philadelphia Eagles, he had 18 to 20 guys he could count on, but he said top to bottom from the first to the 53rd guy this year, it's the best group that he's ever had. Look at Warner scrambling around, and a wise decision there. Wilkins on for a 30-yard field goal try. It's up, and it is good. Back in New Orleans where it's 27-14 in favor of the Rams. And the give is to Wilmot Perry. Big hole off the right side. And stiff arms his way all the way out to the 42-yard line. Right now, it's just uh, my main thing is getting healthy. Uh, uh, I don't know what's going to transpire over the course of the offseason. Uh, obviously, Kurt's having a good year, and, and his contract's up. So uh, what exactly happens in the offseason, the, the team will decide and do what's in the best interest of them. And right now, they're saying they're going to keep both of us, and we'll just, uh, just go from there. And you can see that the Rams are in their two tight ends and two backs. They're just going to come out and try and pound the Saints' defense. Big run by Marshall Falk. And he's all the way to the Saints 40-yard line. There is a flag down on the field. 16-yard face mask, Ooh. 42 defense. Ooh. That will be enforced from the end of the play. The run. First down. Willie Clay. And now, now this, this is going to get ugly in the second half. If you take a look at Marshall Falk, freeze it up. There. There it is right there. Don't expect it as a player, but they're there to greet you. It's a great feeling as a player. Second and six, Warner in trouble, and he'll lead it. Down he goes, back to the 30-yard line. 
wrapped up by Willie Whitehead. Well, you had to get that in there, did you? Absolutely. <laughs> Booted by Wilkins, and he missed it. Wide left. Troy Davis, and he shoved out of bounds. Hastings in motion, hard count, but the Rams didn't bite, and it's batted down at the line of scrimmage. It looked like DeMarco Farr, who got his hand on the pass from Tolliver. And the Rams have the football first and 10 from their own 42-yard line. Falk able to avoid three would-be tacklers. A huge game for Falk, still on his feet inside the 30-yard line. Caught from behind by Chris Gordano. And Marshall Falk, a native of St. Fleur, a native of New Orleans, a huge day today. They catch the New Orleans Saints in a blitz. Look at all the guys in the backfield, but none of them make the block. Fred Miller ends up blocking about three guys just by himself. And the nifty Marshall Falk, he's going to make you pay if he can beat you right through the line of scrimmage against the blitz last week and all of a sudden he's the savior and he's going to be a great quarterback for the next 10 year statements. See it all the time. Falk makes a reception. Robinson, snapper, Haran the holder and this one will draw. Nope. It misses wide right after missing wide left his last attempt. Be all right. <laughs> You're right about that. <laughs> Third and five, Tolliver pump, uh, pump it, and now he fires incomplete to the near side, had an eye on Keith Poole. Both teams are trying to get into that first place in that division. It doesn't look like there's going to be a clear front, front runner at this point. Pass and a catch, uh -oh. and still on his feet is Torrey Holt. The ball comes loose. It looked like Holt was able to got it back. gather got it, back. it back in. He's all the way out to the 38-yard line. Third down and three. Falk is now rushed for 153 yards today. Warner will throw and another first down. This is a third down converting machine, this St. Louis club. They're, they're watching in Hollywood right now. You're big time, Fox. You can get that done for him. Real big time operator. <laughs> There's a throw and it's caught. What a move by Hakeem. And he's on his way, finally caught at the 18 yard line by Sammy Knight. But it's so rare to have an offensive line in the NFL that would play together for that amount of games. Warner throws. It's caught by Falk. Look at those moves. Stays in bounds. He didn't get to the first down marker, but wow. Wilkins has missed his last two. If he misses this one, Vermeule might try to rip his helmet off on the sideline. Well, this one is right down the middle. He knew it was coming, and it is good from 38 yards away. And look at this. Big, deep breath. Finally, we get it right. I haven't seen a whole lot of excitement about them, but they've just gone about their business and got it done. Tolliver is dragged down by Jay Williams getting his second sack of the year. And ever since then, it's been basically a leading frenzy as to everybody giving their opinion or opinions as to what changes should be made. Completion made down the middle to Andre Hastings to the 47-yard line. Because of their record and a third-round draft pick, which is, I mean, the draft is always a crapshoot. If Ricky Williams goes out next week and ends up tearing a knee up like a Robert Edwards did in New England, then you've lost two draft classes completely. Our associate director, Bobby Grossman, our broadcast associate, Wayne Wilson. And down again goes Tolliver. Jeff Scanina picking up the sack. I think 210 total yards for the New Orleans offense so far. Tolliver just throws it up. And it's intercepted. Flag down on the play. Taji Allen. Had to have him with Holding number 78 offense. There's my offense. That penalty is declined. Necessary on the intercepting team, 15 yards, first down, the intercepting oh. team keeps the ball. But it's amazing how your record can make coaches, the, the perception of them, totally change. Paul Justin has come on and he'll just take a knee. And that's going to do it. So these Rams march on. Our final here, Rams 30, Saints 14.